Okay, now we're going to do the improved solution using the MADI method. Using MADI, we do the same, uh, putting it into standard form. And again, we, for the initial feasible solution, uh, we used, <coughs> excuse me, we used uh, the low cost method. So the first two steps are exactly the same. Uh, next, with the uh, MADI method, um, it's a two step process. First, we have to calculate the indices. So we use U. U1 is always equal to zero. So our indice of U1 is always equal to zero. V1 equals, V2 equals, and V3 equals. All right, the way we calculate them is simply uh, C equals V plus U. Our C is our constant. In this case, it's um, our ship to cost, our per unit shipping cost. <clears throat> and we use those to calculate the indices at all the occupied cells. So when we're doing the figuring out the indices, I'm just going to put occupied over here meaning that we use the occupied cells. So, at, we have an occupied cell at Anaheim to Detroit. We know our per unit shipping cost is six. We know our uh, index for U1 is zero. So my V1 equals six. So up here, I'm just gonna write in six. Next, I'm going to move on to um, Anaheim to Fort Worth. Again, we know that our ship to cost is 9. We know that our indice is, uh, index for U1 is 0. So our V2 equals 9. So V2 equals 9. <clears throat> okay, so we don't have, we have an unoccupied cell, unoccupied cell. Our next one is, is uh, Birmingham to Fort Worth. We know our per unit ship to cost is 10. We have V2 equals 9, but we don't know U2. So solving for U2. We have U2 equals 10 minus 9, or 1. So, my indice for U2 becomes 1. All right, moving on. <clears throat> the next occupied cell here is Birmingham to Elizabeth. We know our per unit shipping cost is 7. We know our U2 equals 1. So V3 equals 7 minus 1, or 6. So we have our indice as 6. And then finally, our final occupied cell is Cleveland to Elizabeth. We know that our We know that our uh, uh, per unit shipping cost is $10. We just calculated our index for V3, which is 6. So we can solve for U3. U3 equals 10 minus 6, or 4. So that's the first step. We have calculated our indices. Okay, now we're going to do the second step of the MADI, uh, where we're going to evaluate the unoccupied cells. To evaluate, we do the constant minus the, uh, the row minus the uh, column minus the row indice. All right, so we're going to start out with cell A to E, in other words, shipping from Anaheim to Elizabeth. We know that our per unit shipping cost is 16. 
Our V3 is 6. Our U1 is 0. So 16 minus 6 is 10. Um, next, we're going to evaluate Birmingham to Detroit. We have 11 as our per unit ship to cost, minus 6, minus 1, which equals 4. Next, we're going to do C to D. In other words, from Cleveland to Detroit, our per unit is 16, minus 6, minus 4, is uh, 10, is 6. And finally, we're going to evaluate from C to F, from Cleveland to Fort Worth. Our per unit is 12. Our row is 9. Our, um, our row is 4, our column is 9. So this is negative 1. So again, this is the equivalent of our net eval row. To check for optimal, Z min <clears throat> has to be greater than or equal to zero. And we can see we can get more cost savings uh, from shipping one more unit from Cleveland to Fort Worth. So here we do the same thing that we did uh, with the stepping stone men method, we know we have to bring some units in here. So we're going to add 150. We're going to subtract 150. We're going to add 150. We're going to subtract 150. So as you can see, we came up with the exact same results using the MADI as we did the stepping stone. Okay, now the final thing and the purpose we did this is we're trying to calculate our total shipping costs. Our, sh um, our ZQ, it's calculated in the exact same way we did it in the simplex method. It's the summation of our C's times the quantities. Our C's are per unit shipping costs. Our quantities are what's represented. So we just do the summation of all the occupied cells. And in this case, we know that our improved solution brings our shipping costs to $5,050. And I would have continued out for all the cells here, but I'm kind of out of room, so I cut it a little short. Um, as compared to our initial CQ, which I did on the first uh, pass through, which was $5,200. So, by working on an approved solution, we can see that we saved our company $150 in shipping costs by calculating the difference between those.